Now, I said to you guys, when it comes to petty cash, it's all about payment of small amounts. It says the opening petty cash balance on 1 June 2022 was 1,500. With that balance, I will take it to my petty cash general ledger account. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I've never discussed anything with you regarding petty cash. Okay. So the petty cash journal, guys, is it is a journal where we report small payments. And I got asked what qualifies to be a small payment. It depends on the size of the company and it depends on the company. A thousand rand can be a small payment for one company, but for another company, a thousand rand can be a large payment. So with Petty Cash General, we just report amounts that do not qualify to be large payments. And you will read the scenario that will tell you that any amounts less than 2,000 rand is regarded as petty cash. In this general, guys, as I've said, we only record small payments. Small payments will be recorded in the petty cash journal. Any small payment made by the business will be recorded in this journal. These are items too small to be paid by EFT. These are items too small to be paid by EFT. When it comes to petty cash, please note that there will be a cash withdrawal And that cash withdrawal will be kept in a safe or box so that it can be used to make those small cash payments. Every small payment made will be recorded in the Petty Cash Journal. I normally refer to Petty Cash Journal as PCJ. A source document to be used to record the amount in the petty cash journal will be what we call the petty cash voucher. We are going to use the petty cash voucher as a source document to record all amounts in the petty cash journal. Now with petty cash, there are two systems. There is a system of variable balances, meaning that your balances will vary year or month to month, it won't be the same. So what you have in that safe will be different from month to month. It will not be the same. It depends on what you have used. Whatever will remain will be kept in that box. It will be different every month because when it comes to petty cash, we will not use the same amount every month. Now under this system, a petty cash amount kept in a safe or box changes from month to month, the balance of the petty cash will vary from month to month as well. And I gave you one example here. In the box, we started a month with 5,300, but we used 4,300 as our small payment for that month. So when you add up all the small payments for that month, we made payments worth 4,300. If I started the month with 5,300 and I made small payments for that month totaling to 4,300, how much do I still have in that petty cash box or team or save? It's 1,000. So next month, when I start the new month, in that team or box, I will start the new month with 1,000 rand. That's your variable system. Why do they say it's a variable system? Because this month we started it with 5,300, but we are going to start the next month with how much? With 1,000. 
So last month, opening balance is not the same as next month's opening balance. Okay, they're not the same. And we call this a variable system. Okay, that's a variable system. Another system, guys, is your interest system. With the interest system, it means that pretty cash kept in a safe or box or tin stays the same every month. It remains the same every month. It means that the petty cash here is always reinvest only what has been used or spent. What does that word mean? What does that word mean? What does that word mean? Reinvest. Okay, guys. The petty cashier is the person that is responsible for that save or team. So the petty cashier will take money from that save or team and use it for different reasons. But at the end of the month, the petty cashier will be paid back the amount that was used. And I'll give you one example. Let's look at this here. We started the month with 5,000 rand. So in that safe or tin or box, we are starting the month with 5,000 rand. But how much did we use for the month? For the month, we used 3,300. How much is left in that box? Let's calculate it together. You said it's how much? Thank you. It will be, someone please close the door. It will be 5,000 minus 3,300. How much do we get? We get 1,700. But according to the interest system, are we allowed to be having 1,700 according to the interest system? The answer is no. How much must we have in that tin or box? We need to have 5,000. So the petty cashier will be paid back that five, the amount that was used so that it goes back to 5,000. Now let's check how much will be paid into the cashier. We are going to say 5,000 minus what is left. How much must the petty cashier get? 3,300. And that 3,300 guys, is this amount over here. So the petty cashier will be reinvest that 3,300 to make sure that the closing balance is the same. And you will notice that the balance at the end of the year will be how much? It will be 5,000, which is the same as the beginning of the month. It is the same as the beginning of the month. And that is the interest system. All right, I think I've explained everything thoroughly then. Let us get to example one. I have already spoken about this. According to this, it says the opening petty cash balance on 1 June 2022 was 1,500. That 1,500, guys, you will normally put it on the debit side of your petty cash, but we'll do that later. Now, transactions or payments relating or according to petty cash voucher. It says we purchased postage stamps from the post office for 50 rand and petty cash voucher number 25 was used. The fact that it's voucher number 25, you know it should be recorded in the petty cash journal. You will start with the voucher number. The voucher number was 25. Label, we are here. And under day, what do we have under day? It is there. Second, who did we pay? 
we paid post office, two accounts affected them. Petty cash column here acts the same way as the bank column. So all the payments that you make will come out of PT cash. We made a payment worth 50 rand. So the first account that will be affected will be PT cash account. The second one is it stationary or postage? It is stationary. What about this stamp that I normally use to control your books? Will this be under postage? This one will be under what? It will be under stationary. But why is that one under postage? Because I'll be using it for postage. They specified it's for postage. It's postage stamps, okay? On the A, Nash, we paid Nash stationers for a printer cartridge amounting to 120. Which two accounts will be affected there? Petty cash and, and stationery. Why not equipment? Cartridge falls under stationery. What about a printer? What is the difference between a cartridge and a printer? Can I say printer falls under stationery? Printer will be equipment. Do you guys get that? All right. Um, the date, now um, you're gonna write the voucher numbers in sequence. The first voucher number was 25, meaning that the next voucher number will be 26. This happened on the A. Who did we pay? Nash stationers. So we have petty cash and you guys said it's petty cash and stationer. We made a donation to Nkupila 90 rand. It's a small payment, you can tell from that. The date will be 27. I mean, voucher number will be 27 because it must be in sequence. The date will still be the eight. So I can't I can write eight twice, okay? Who did we pay? Nkupila, right? And two accounts affected, petty cash and donations. Do we have a column for donations there? So where does it go? It goes to Sandri. So we will have 90 rand under Sandri and that will be for donations. We paid wages to Bob Sam, the office cleaner, 300. Voucher number will be 28. What day was it? The 12th, who did we pay? It's Bob Sam. And two accounts affected, petty cash and, and wages. We bought refreshments from L8 stores for a visitor, 20 rand. Voucher number will still be 29. Day will be 15. We bought them from L8 stores, two accounts affected, petty cash and, but do we have a column for refreshments here? So it will be written under sun. The owner, Snappy, had left his lunch at home, gave him 100 rand to buy lunch. Interesting. 
Mutida, where is your handout? Oh, yeah. So voucher number will be 30. What day was it? 25. Who did we pay? Snappy. Sounds like a dog. Two accounts affected, petty cash and drawings. Nice one. I know someone is about to write refreshments. No, it's not refreshments, it's drawings. Cause it is for personal use. What envelopes from Nash Station has 25? Voucher number? 31, day, 27, Nash stationers, two accounts affected, petty cash and postage, right? Petty cash and postage. Guys, this one is not postage, instead it is stationer. Okay, did they specify that those envelopes were well for postage? Someone said to me, but we use envelopes for postage. Really? Why do I have them? Have I posted anything to you guys? What do I use these ones for? For report cards. Okay, so it's just stationary. I'm not posting them. And last one says that we posted a parcel. Postage cost was 15 rand. Ah, let's see. Voucher number, day, who did we pay? Who did we pay? Why are you guys part? We paid post office, right? We paid post office, 